Well, according to research, it takes just one blistering sunburn at a young age to more than double your chance of developing melanoma later in life. But did you know that in most states, students need a doctor's note just to bring sunscreen to school? It's a rule that doesn't sit well with a lot of parents who are now fighting to change it. Most parents wouldn't dream of letting their kids play outside in the sun without applying sunscreen, but that's exactly what's happening in schoolyards nationwide. And even scarier thought, each year about 500 children are diagnosed with melanoma. In fact, it's the second most commonly diagnosed cancer in people between the ages of 15 and 29. Dr. Marcus Bowes, a pediatric dermatologist at Seattle's Children's Hospital and father of five-year-old twin boys, says prevention is key. If we want to protect our kids from sunburns and we want to prevent the instance of melanoma going forward, the place where they're outside for a good chunk of the day is at school. So why can't parents protect their kids by simply sending them out the door with a bottle of sunscreen? It turns out the Food and Drug Administration considers sunscreen an over-the-counter drug, meaning in order to send a bottle of SPF to school with your child or have a teacher or nurse reapply the lotion throughout the day, you need a doctor's note. The first time that I had a parent ask me to write a prescription for, um, for sunscreen, I was a little bit shocked. Washington is the latest state taking steps to change that. A bill is heading to the governor's desk and is expected to be signed into law any day now. Jesse Michner learned about the statewide policy that prevented staff from applying sunscreen to students in 2012 when she says her 11 and 9 year old daughters came home from a field day event at school with second degree burns. It was horrifying to see her bright red face. There were welts, she was swollen. The bill will allow school personnel to help students apply sunscreen, but doesn't require them to do so. Supporters, including the School Nurses Organization of Washington, say that legislation is a sensible solution that will prevent kids from getting burned, giving more parents the power to protect their little loved ones from the dangers of the sun. And once the bill is signed, Washington state joins five other states, California, New York, Utah, Oregon, and Texas, with laws that require schools to allow students to use sunscreen on campus. Similar legislation is pending and in six other states. It seems just kind of common, common sense, sense doesn't exactly. it? I was surprised Hello? that you need a prescription. It's, yeah, and in Washington state, some, I was thinking, well, there's not that much sun there, but again, the highest, some of the highest rates of skin cancer are in Washington state because, you know, the sun comes through the clouds. But for little kids, somebody's yeah. got to apply it, so that's it yeah. could be a burden for teachers, too. Yeah, and nurses, yeah, at right. schools. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there. And click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.